Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make crispy pork belly quick and easy in a charcoal barbecue. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set our barbecue up. We wanna be setting up for some high indirect heat. I find kettle style barbecues and Kamados are perfect for crispy pork belly. But if you've got another style of smoker and you just wanna get a little bit of smoke into your pork belly, you can always finish it off later on in the oven or an air fryer. That high indirect heat is key to building that crispy, perfect crackling. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on setting our barbecue up. All right, so we're gonna be using our Oklahoma Joe's blackjack kettle today. So we'll open her up, take our cooking grate off. We'll take our charcoal baskets out for now. We'll get some fire lighters going. We'll lay our charcoal chimney down and then we'll fill that up with either lump charcoal or briquettes. All right, so we've got about 15 minutes or so before those briquettes are gonna be ready. So we'll use that time to prepare our pork belly. Now the pork crackling preparation process I normally follow involves opening our pork belly up, patting that skin dry and letting it sit in the fridge for a few days just to really dry that skin out. But the process we're using today is much quicker. We'll have this ready to go in our barbecue in around five or 10 minutes. All right, so we're gonna take our pork belly out of the vac seal bag and we'll flip it upside down. Trim a little bit of this excess fat off the bottom. A little bit of silver skin there. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm pretty happy with that. Next, we're just gonna pierce the skin all over. We're gonna use our jacquard, which is just basically a set of retractable needles. If you've got something similar, you can use that. But if you wanted to check one of these out, I'll put a link down in the description. This is just gonna pierce the skin all over, like I said, and that's gonna give us that real bubbly crackling that's easy to bite through. All right, so we've just pierced the skin all over. Next, we wanna score it. All right, so I'm just gonna use a Stanley knife and we're just gonna score our pork belly. All right, so what we're gonna do next is I'll get a foil tray and then I've got a cake rack. We will pop on top of that and then we will place our pork belly on top of that. And then we're gonna pour some boiling water all over the skin. All right, and as you can see, that's really opened up that skin. Now we need to dry it. All right, so I'm just gonna seal our pork belly up so any excess water runs off. All right, and then I've just borrowed my wife's hairdryer and now we just wanna really dry that skin out. So we'll hit this with the hairdryer on the highest setting for a few minutes. All right, now we'll take our pork belly off. We'll get rid of this cake rack and foil tray. Then you can go ahead and hit the meat side with your favorite rub. We're gonna be using some of our steak shooter. And then we'll just lightly coat the skin with a little bit of olive oil. And we'll sprinkle a little bit of flaky salt over the top. All right, and now our briquettes are ready. We can take our chimney out. We'll get our charcoal baskets back in and fill them up. Make sure both baskets are nice and even. Then we'll close our lid. Then we'll make sure our top and bottom vents are wide open. Then we'll give our barbecue a few minutes to preheat before we get this pork belly on. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's open our lid. We'll get our cooking grate on and then our beautiful little pork belly. Then we'll shut our lid and let this cook away. All right, so now our pork belly's on. I'm not gonna open that lid for at least an hour. The blackjack kettle's got a nice big vent hole on top so I can see exactly how that pork belly's coming along through the top. And like I mentioned earlier, we've set up for some indirect cooking. So none of that pork belly is over any direct heat. It's right in the middle of those two charcoal baskets, so it's not gonna burn by being right over the top of any charcoal. And if you're looking for a barbecue temperature, we're gonna be running this at about the 500 Fahrenheit or 260 Celsius range. Lump charcoal will typically burn hotter. I do recommend using that if you are doing pork belly in your barbecue for the first time. But these olive pipco briquettes I love using have a really high burning temp. They're chemical free, clean burning, and I get really good results when I'm doing crispy pork belly with them. So we'll let this pork belly cook away for a while now, and we'll come back once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half. Let's have a look at this pork belly. All right, that is looking good. That crackling's coming along nicely. It's pretty much set all over. So what I'm gonna do now is just pick up the pork belly for a sec. We'll lay a foil tray down. We'll place our pork belly back in. Now we're gonna add some liquid to that tray just to get that meat nice and tender. 
I want some nice fruity flavours, so we're going to go with some acai and passion fruit sour from Pirate Life. You don't want to put too much liquid in, you don't want that covering your pork skin. But for now, we're going to close our lid and let this keep going. Right, so that beer we used is going to add some really nice subtle fruity flavours to our pork belly. If you didn't have that, you could use things like apple juice or pineapple juice. Any other fruity sort of liquid will do the trick. If you like a bit of a vinegar hit to your pork belly, then add some apple cider vinegar. Or if you wanted to keep the flavours savoury, then add things like beef stock, chicken stock or vegetable stock. It's really up to you and what sort of flavour you want in that pork belly. But for now, we're going to let that pork belly continue to cook away until we reach an internal temperature of around 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degrees Celsius. Taking it to that internal temperature will give us some really nice tender and juicy meat, whilst that crackling will stay nice and crisp. I don't think it'll take too much longer. It's only a small pork belly, but if at any point you find that your charcoal baskets are starting to die down or you've got a bit more room in them once that charcoal settled in, don't hesitate to add more. But for now, we'll be back once we've hit that internal temperature in our pork belly. All right, so our pork belly is just about ready. It's been about 40 minutes. I'm gonna keep this super simple and just serve it with some chimichurri. We've got a dry mix here from BRZ Foods. This is their gringo rub. All we need to do is bring that back to life with some vinegar and olive oil. Now all the instructions are on the label, but seriously it's just as easy as getting some in a bowl, adding some olive oil, some vinegar, and give it a mix. Make sure you've got the right consistency and it's good to serve. Alright, so now let's have a look at this pork belly and get it out. Alright, crackling is nice. Well, it's very tender. Well, we're at about 210 ish Fahrenheit. So we'll get this out and onto our cutting board. All right, so it's always good to rescue meat for about half an hour. I find with pork belly, you can get away with no rest as there's so much fat in there. It looks and smells amazing. Let's get stuck into it. All right, we'll test that crackling. Oh wow, yep, that's awesome. All right, we'll try some of this meat with the chimichurri. That's such a good combo. So there you have it, crispy pork belly in a charcoal barbecue, quick and easy. Make sure you try it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.